Okay, today I'm out here in my shop and I'm going to try to uh, get the lead screws and the motors installed and if all goes well I'll get this thing fired up in a little bit. I've got all my uh, electronics here. I've got my four axis kit from Xylotex with my stepper motors. So I'll probably uh, start off and try to get some measurements here so I can cut the lead screws and I'll use one of these stepper motors and a coupling to help me determine the exact length I need so I can cut the lead screws. Okay, I'm going to cut my lead screws out here on this little table. Uh, that way I don't get any sparks flying around where all that uh, sawdust is inside. But I just kind of got this clamped a little bit just to hold it in place. I've got my uh, first one measured here, got a little mark with the Sharpie, and I'm ready to start cutting. Uh, one thing you want to make sure you do is you always want to try to cut the longest one first. That way if you screw up and for some reason you cut it too short, you can always uh, use that for one of the shorter pieces you need. Uh, but always cut your longest one first. I need two, two of them that's going to be 48 and 3 quarters. Okay, I'll double check my measurement here. Notice I've got three lead screws. I need two of them 48 and three quarters, one of them 42 and a half, and then the final one for the Z will be 17 and a half. And what I'm cutting off on the drop will be enough to use for that. So I'll save whichever one is the best one. Uh, I'm sure they're all going to be fine, but I'll use that for my Z axis. Okay, I've got my lead screws cut, and now I have to uh, take my trusty little file here and file to get all the burrs off of this so it will go through the, the acme nut and also onto the coupling actually this end will just go into the coupling this end here I may need to file a little bit this was the end from the from the factory so it may not be too bad sometimes you have to file those a little bit as well I've got to get all these little burrs off we've got my um, Got my Acme nut installed there on that one. And as you're filing these, you can kind of use one of these couplings to uh, check to see if uh, if you got it got it smooth enough. Because it should go right on there. star lead screw you've got five different places a little grooves right there where you want to make sure you file and get those nice and smooth okay lead screw is going to feed right on there now so I can go ahead and take this one Got one mounted on a stepper motor here. I'll go ahead and feed it in. And I just screw it in until it won't go any farther. Well, looks like I may have to file this in. It's not going to Okay, I finally got the Z axis in. I guess I just wouldn't hold my mouth right. Once I took it loose from the 
stepper motor, it went right in there. So I guess I just, uh, guess I wouldn't hold my mouth right or something. I'm going to try to put this uh, X, X axis in here. And also, uh, while I'm filing this, let's talk about, uh, you know, on the other machine it was much narrower and I had the dual stepper motors. I called that the X, that the Y, and then of course this the Z. Well, on this one, because it's wider, I call this the X, and I'll set it, set it up that way in Mach 3, and then I call the dual will be the Y, which is the same way I have uh, my machine there that you can't see behind the camera. Okay, I got this one all wired up, and I'm ready to flip the switch and uh, see what happens. I, you'll notice I've just got these uh, bearing mounts and the motor mounts here just kind of clamped in place until I, in case I have to do any tweaking, you know, with the alignment or anything. Uh, I've already put some uh, white lithium grease on here to try to get them a little lubricated. And uh, I did have a, a wire come loose on uh, one of the motors there up there on the Z too, so I had to poke that back in and I really need to get another connector, but I think I've got it in there good enough to uh, test it out. So. Let's fire it up and see what happens. Hey, I'll test the uh, X axis first. The air is making a little noise. It looks like it's. Uh, yeah, it needs, it needs to get broke in a little bit. A little lubrication. We may have to tweak the alignment just a hair. Like the Z-axis is working well. You need to get another connector there, but like I said, I've just got that wire kind of stuck in there. And let's see what we got here. Yeah, it looks like the Y-axis is uh, working pretty nice. So I got a few things I need to tweak a little bit uh, once I get the, the alignment really perfect on these and I'll uh, match drill these holes and, and bolt those on. One thing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this one's a little different, so now I'm using this as the x-axis, so if you're using a Xylotex kit, I put the red uh, wire to that motor because that's reddish for the x. I put the green for the z, which is always the same, so I, I've got it going here, and then I've got the blue, which is for the A-axis, which is now slaved to the Y-axis, which is yellow. So I slaved those two and made sure I had those going in the right direction. And so everything is working right the way I wanted to with the uh, with the arrow keys on the keyboard. So looks like just a little bit of tweaking, uh, you know, kind of getting things lined up and lubricated. And uh, this thing's pretty much ready to run. One other thing I got to do though is uh, before I give this, turn this one over to Jim, is uh, as I mentioned in one of the other videos, uh, Jeff at Xylotex was good enough to send me. Uh, I got three limit switches, a little breakout board, and a little E stop. So I want to try to figure out how to mount those all on here, and uh, you know have that set up for uh, for Jim before I turn this one over to him. So that'll be in an upcoming video. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do. Uh, if you like what you're seeing in these videos, please click the like button. Uh, and, uh, you know, if, if you haven't been to my website already, check that out too. The, the link is in the description down below. Uh, there's lots of free plans on there. Uh, all kinds of photos showing stuff I've built, you know, with or without CNC. Uh, so check that out as well. So anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I thank you all for watching, and thanks again to all the new subscribers, and we'll talk to you next time.